Hello and welcome to another edition of Eat the Week. I'm a hairy fruity guy and I'm going to try this bacon cooked in water business because <laughs> uh, I can't quite believe that it's going to work but I've never tried it so let's check it out. I've gone with some uh, cooking bacon for this experiment because uh, sometimes you get really thick pieces of bacon in here and it saves you money because it doesn't hardly cost anything. So let's uh, let's check this out. We'll put it in a pan uh, with a bit of water. I'm not putting fat in it, which is weird. And apparently it tastes less salty and it's still crispy. So uh, let's check out whether this is a myth or like some super duper way of, um, you know, enjoying the nation's favorite food. Or oh, the world's favourite food, let's face it. This piece is like a gammon steak, so I won't do that. I'll use some of the thinner pieces. All right, the bacon's in, so now we just need to put some water in. I don't want to put too much in, like I don't want to flood it, because it's got to evaporate and, and render the fat down. All right, so here we go. You literally just put cold water in. So I already suspect that's too much. I don't know. That was actually just a splash of water. So let's get the heat on and see what happens. It's on. I'm doing this on a camping stove so it can be done outside as well. Um, and I'm going to butter some bread and uh, hopefully make myself a banging bacon sandwich. Bread's prepped. I'm not going to put ketchup or anything. Like, I just want to taste the bacon to see if, if there's a taste there. But you can't have a bacon sandwich without butter. That's like the bare minimum. But it's boiling away and the water is rendering down. So, make, should I flip it now? I've got no idea. This bit here um, was particularly thick and I like the fact that it's still got the rind on it. So uh, I'm hoping it does crisp up. So let's, uh, you know, let's, let's pray to the baking gods. Yeah, it's crisping up, but I'm not, I'm not convinced. This is how much water I've put in. I've had to put it in twice more now fire alarm's going mad yeah i'm not convinced by this i think it's a fatty thing the, the bacon just took ages it's not as crisp like you know so let's uh let's get it in my face and see what it's like mm. it's tasty but then you'd expect that from bacon i don't feel that it's any less salty It's got a, a crispy outside, mm, but a nice gammony taste inside. So yeah, it's all right, but I don't think it's much different and it took me three times as long to cook it. So uh, let's check out the sandwich. Look at that doorstop bacon sandwich though. Whoa, sexy. Mm. it's weird it's got a really nice burnt, burnt texture like well done texture like, like, like but it's not crispy at all so and it takes three times as, as long to cook it if you want crispy you're better off doing it in the air fryer or the oven or dry frying it and i'm glad my uh pan is non-stick but um no personally i think it's a fad if you've had better luck with um, water cooked bacon, then let me know and drop your comments down below. And if you're new to the channel, please consider a subscription. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.